Hey everybody, it's Bob Boop. I'm here with John Boop. John, will you show him your picture? No, John's gonna stay behind the camera today, but guys, we're gonna have fun here. And John, maybe you can start kind of just showing, the, scanning the house here. Where we're at today is 217 Tie Dot and Trail. It has a lock cave and address. We're in Brown Township here, a top of the mountain here, but we're Jersey Shore School District. And you're gonna see, this is unlike any other home that I've sold in my 34 year career. It's a log home, an actual log house. Of course, you can see just from a stand in here, we have the uh, uh, the stamped concrete uh, floor here, uh, the driveway, but nicer than most people's floors. Now, there's actually five garage doors, four in the front you'll see, and then one in the back. And, of course, as John's scanning, we're looking that way. So, let's see, John, I guess that would be east. When you go down this little road here, it's Coyote something road, that'll actually, uh, eventually, if you go past the last neighbor's house there, it's all state game lands. Uh, John and I looked it up on the one map and it was like 60,000 acres just simply surrounding this whole area here. And of course, what John, they got hunting, fishing, the four wheelers, they, you name it outdoor, they got it here. Oh, isn't it beautiful? What do you think, John? Why don't we, I'll tell you what, let's push pause real quick and we'll go show you the backyard real quick. Be right back. Okay, so now we're out here. We're on the east side of the property. Of course, there's the front as you're pulling in. But John, show them down in there. There's a courtyard. And believe it or not, there is a setup in this house with this courtyard floor, the front driveway, and the patios that you could actually heat those if you want. They have it turned off, disconnected currently, but be very easy for a plumber to... Can you imagine that, John? In the winter, you could just heat the concrete floor there and come out in your bare feet. Of course, as you see here, uh, I think it's like 2.3, 2.4 acres, about two, not quite two and a half acre piece of property here. It's a nice sized property. And you see, you get some cleared area. You have some trees uh, up here, your Tri-County. Matter of fact, one of the neighbors was telling us that Tri-County is putting a new fiber optic system so you'll have uh, updated whatever, fast internet, I guess, John, right? Look at that. And we'll show you the fireplace as we go in, but that is one solid fireplace. Has two different flues in it. There's a fireplace in the lower level and a fireplace inside, you'll see. As we continue to show you around here, you're uh, not too bad of a drive to Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. I guess if you want to go up further towards uh, Wellsboro. You're very, very close here. A lot of the locals know the Black Forest Inn. Um, nice people that own it. Beautiful spot to stop and eat and have a, have a cold one. But John, there's that fifth garage door there so that you can pull your mowers and stuff out there to come out here then. And you can just see the entire home is just log covered. I was thinking maybe we'd stir up a deer or something here, John, but I don't, I don't see anything. Of course, these little humps here in the back, those are uh, uh, not gophers. Those are actually a uh, septic system. So everything around 2010, 11 is when the owners built this house. So from about 10, 11, maybe going into 12 a little bit is when the original construction was going on. There's actually seven wells on this property, five for your geothermal heating system and then two for your domestic water. So imagine being the well driller for that one, John. Hey, I got seven wells for you to drill, you know, that's crazy. Okay, so what do you think? We had good enough outside here, John? Okay, John Boob of Manny Word, Man of Many Words says we're done here, but we'll be right back. We're gonna show you guys inside. Okay, guys, so now we're inside this gorgeous home and John, you can just start scanning and I'll walk uncomfortably close to you. Does this feel weird, John, that I'm right next to your ear? There is, what do we count, John? I think six bathrooms in this house, right? Yeah. So this is the half bath. To John's left, and I didn't really share this with you in the front. You saw this beautiful door here with the bear on it and stuff. Originally 28 grand just for the door. Not that everything's about money, but I'm telling you, the owner of this property cut no expenses when they were building this. Everything is top shelf. And of course, John, you can see the beautiful staircase here going up up and down i guess that's uh i mean there's so many things to show you. let's take you into the main living room here first so as i mentioned outside you've got two fireplaces here this is the one here now they are regular fireplaces but they're also connected to the propane gas so if you would remove the gas log you could use it as a regular fireplace but john is this this room's absolutely gorgeous isn't it john yeah. See that buffalo just moved there? I don't, yeah. I swear I saw his, his eye blink there just for a second. All right, I hope not. Um, 
but just just a beautiful living room main main family room area and i guess john if you just want to continue on to your right there we'll show them in the nice separate formal dining room one of the questions that you may be wondering is any of the personal items included what we can tell you as of the recording of this video the kitchen appliances washer dryer that sort of thing are included with the sale they are very open-minded to the personal property being included with the sale I guess it would just depend on the number, uh, what items you want, that sort of thing. So anything is possible. And John, I'll just kind of, as you'll see, there's about six miles of uh, granite stone countertop here. This kitchen is set up better than most restaurant kitchens are set up. Uh, it's just got all the beautiful drawers and look at that, John. Oh, the slow closing one. Oh, oh, and John, turn around and show them this feature right here. I don't know if you guys know what this is. John, do you know what that is? You know a bit. That's for filling up those big pots. So you don't want to move them from the sink. That's a pot filler upper. Of course, this, um, this is a beautiful venting system. Of course, you got the bar stool areas here. And you can see going into the dining area. But John, look at this right here. This is a cappuccino uh, espresso machine. I don't know what these uh, cost. But for next Father's Day, or actually, my birthday will come up sooner. If you can get me one of those, John, you can get with your brothers and buy it together then. Of course, you got the microwave and the double oven and the stainless steel. And of course, here you got the kitchen garage door here. And there's it just there, there's just nothing spared. Nothing is second. Of course, the built-in uh, stereo system. Okay, so fair enough to say a nice kitchen, John. I guess this is a nice kitchen, right? All right. Yeah. So I guess then to your left, John, we'll keep going. And, oh, well, John, like I'm sure you saw many homes like this here, but what's a home without an elevator? You gotta have an elevator. Look at the panels on this bad boy, John. That's a nicer elevator in some fancy hotels I've stayed at. That is just beautiful then. So the elevator actually goes to all the floors. And uh, of course, if you end up buying, the, oh, geez, John, it says 950 pound capacity. I don't mean you can get on there together. I'm sorry, I'm sweet. Um, but that's that's actually a nice feature if you uh, have any either yourself or somebody comes over and if there's trouble doing steps, just go up and down the elevator. Of course, you have first floor laundry area here. And and one of the things too, I guess I am six foot tall. So what do you think, John? Another two three feet, so about nine foot there, probably to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, John, talk there. Did you hear him say? Yep. Okay. So about nine foot. And then here, John, we'll show them out here inside the garage here. Click on some lights here. So as we showed you earlier, one, two, three, four with the garage doors. Uh, look, at, John, show them this. I have never had this before. Look at that. You got five garage doors, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one, of course, is the one we showed you. Um, I don't know if the deer mounts are included, but got some good bucks up there. Big bucks in this house. All right, let's see here, John. I guess what else now we can... This is walk across to the first floor master bedroom. Oh. We're gonna have to start making up room names here at some point, John, don't you think? We'll show you downstairs here in just a minute. I swear I saw the buffalo blink again, John. I did. Now, John, I'll let you go in here first. So, just a ginormous, and ginormous is a professional real estate term, master, uh, first floor master bedroom lots of room and uh, oh John if you do a 180 show them this closet behind you now John look to the right now John's wife's name is Melissa do you think this would be enough room for Melissa to put all of her shoes do you think that would work might be maybe maybe two of those and then of course you have the high racks and then you can't quite reach that's no problem you just reach into the handy dandy closet handle and you pull that down to you isn't that pretty cool and then uh, John I'll let you walk a head there and show them inside here so there's a little area you can sit and of course in each of these window seats here those they open up for storage again I, I lost count of how many drawers are in here there's just lots of drawers and storage john you ever seen a closet like this no no me neither this is well i asked the owner for permission to give you this next little bit of information um he estimates that it's probably around three and a half 
to just a little under $4 million is what he has into the construction. So the asking price here is nowhere near what the investment is. And I can't imagine if you would try to duplicate something like this, it would probably be, geez, probably one and a half times that. Probably be, what do you think, John? Five, six million? I'll let you keep walking, John. Into the bathroom, show him this gorgeous master bath. Has the toilet area here, of course. Double sink. Geez, I don't know, I think that's like an eight foot counter right there, John. Huge shower. And I know we don't usually take showers together, John, but let's, hey, walk in the shower here with me. Show right there to the right, there's a fancy electronic system. You see it right there, John? Yeah, so that controls the shower and how fast and waterfall and the pressure of the, the rain and just, and John, look at the chandelier. Look at, the, look at that bad boy. Yeah. Just every little feature was thought out. Big uh, Bubba Bubba tub with the jets. Of course, got TV in the corner there, John. So you can get your tubby and not miss any of the, the game. And it has the pocket doors in here too. And they're, I don't know if that's cherry. It looks like cherry, cherry stain, but kitchen cabinets are all cherry. I think I forgot to mention that too. All right, John, so I think that's everything in the first floor. Um, Let's push pause, let's take them upstairs. We'll show them the upstairs and then we'll go down the lower level. Okay, so now we're up on the second floor, but I wanted to show you the view from up above here. And I still swear that Buffalo is blinking every time that we look at him, but isn't that gorgeous there? So that'd be your Southern view as you're looking that way. So lots of natural sunlighting coming in this property. And then now on the realtor spec sheet, we'll probably have three, four bedrooms. You'll see what I mean here in a second, but the house really has two master bedrooms. How about it, John? Over here, this is another bedroom in itself, but in any other home, this would be a master bedroom. It's got lots of space. John, show them that bathroom in there too. All the bathrooms too have heated floors. So every bathroom, you'll see there's some different thermostats. You can see in there, okay, John? And then, like right behind you, John. See this thermostat here? That is somehow controlled into the heat in each bathroom. So each of the, I'm gonna say the five full ones. I don't know if the half bath has that, but heated bath floor, so when you come out of the shower, your tootsies don't have to be cold. And now this, this bedroom then has a balcony that you can look out over into the, the woods and see the wildlife and stuff. Sit out there and have a morning coffee. Very nice. Of course, a little sitting area there in the corner, John. And then big, big closet here. Oh, nice space. All right, so that's, so we had the first master bedroom on the first floor. That's the second master bedroom on the second floor. Now, as we come across the walk, open walkway here. All right, did the bear move? Hopefully not. So this would be, I guess what we're gonna call bedroom number three. And again, guys, you can just see this lots of wood. Uh, matter of fact, the steps coming up and down are made with pine, but inlaid with a Brazilian cherry. And there's no screws. Everything is with dowels. So pretty neat tidbit. And then, John, I'll let you walk them into this bathroom. And again, has the tile floor heated. Now, I believe this one here has a tub and it, yeah, this has the tub and then beautiful tile work around. Nothing here is is uh, anything, what I'm trying to say there, just everything's top shelf. And then John, look at this. These are kick plates. What do you do? So what that is, if you want to sweep up anything on the floor, that's part of the central vac system. It just takes the, the dust and the things away. Now, as you'll see, as we continue to walk through here, there's these little cubbies, so you can see they use this kind of as a desk area. And then this would be, I think here, oh, this is gonna be where the elevator comes up to the second floor. Now, here we have a closet. Here, nice size closet. My closet's never looked that clean. And this is the bonus, or what we're gonna call the fourth bedroom, but I hate even just calling this a bedroom because look at this, guys. It's a bunk room. This, this honestly, John, we've sold houses this big, haven't we? Yeah. As much square footage is here. We've actually sold some little houses that are this same size. And you'll see there's these little coves. And John, you're welcome to show them that. 
um, where they have little furniture set up here, of course, the poker area. They have three beds set up here, and these are full, four, I don't think they're king, but they're king or queen size beds. Of course, here you have the sitting area. And check all this out over here. You have the same thing. So there's just lots of space here. So depending on how you use your home or if you know, this is company or guests coming up for you, this has its own heating and central air system for this zone as well. And of course, there's another bathroom, John, I forgot to show the audience. So come on, everybody, we'll show you another bathroom. Because, John, there's actually more bathrooms in this house than there is bedrooms. Crazy, huh? Good crazy. And this has the big shower. Again, counter or the countertops on the sinks are all the granite stone. And again, as we mentioned earlier, yeah, it has the heated floor. Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys, that's that's the second floor. I tell you what, let's push pause and then can't wait to show you downstairs. And there's some really cool things in the lower level. We'll be right back. Okay, this is so exciting. So this whole house, everything is exciting and neat to show you guys then. But to John's right, you can see where the steps are to come downstairs to the lower level. And then as John just kind of spins and does a 360 here, you can see now here's the lower level family room, second fireplace there. And we'll show you a little bit more here in a minute. Of course, there's a bathroom. Here John's standing like a dining area. And look, because that one kitchen upstairs with every feature known to man in the kitchen, if that's not enough, yeah, here's another one. Yeah, so look at this, John. Got the little bears in here. And of course, got the uh, hard, uh, what they're, it's pine, the softwood, but it's beautiful countertops. Has a dishwasher down here, big fridge. What a, what a nice man cave kitchen, huh? Or estrogen cove, you know, good for ladies too, obviously. And then it continues on here that there's this, I suppose, depending on how you set this up, you can see they have the shuffleboard right here, but uh, um, you could have table, more chairs. One of the features the owner was sharing with us too, because he really tried to think ahead with everything. These panels that you see are removable. So you have those little tops, dowel tops. Um, they're, it's not a drop ceiling, but they're removable if you ever need to get the plumbing or electrical. And even a little feature like this, this was hidden right into the wall. So it's easy access to your, your pecs and your plumbing, your heating and whatever things. And John, if you kind of see in there, see this here, this is a superior wall system for the foundation. So the, uh, again, top of the line with everything. And then I guess John, let's take them in. I think what we're going to do, John, your favorite room will wait for the last room to show them. That'll be the, the grand finale. So here we have another full bathroom down here. So this would be number six, then, I think, John, right? I think this would be the sixth bath we've had. And lots of, you know, lots of storage, big, big closets here, lots of shelving. This is, uh, oh, this is as good at any time to show them. There are several sub pits with, um, automatic, um, uh, what they call them, pumps, that if ever any water would hit the basement floors, it takes care of it before, well, it never hits the floor. As it's coming up underground, it would take care of it. This is a Renew Air Energy Recovering Ventilator. I only know that because I'm reading it to you as I'm talking to you about it, but the owner was telling me this is in every bathroom, so when you turn on the fans, you'll think the fans aren't working because you won't hear anything. Well, that's done by design, so, that that takes care of any moisture, like you take a shower and you want to get rid of the moisture, turn that on, pulls it out of the house, great setup. Wow. Again, just another family room den area here. This is a, a really nice feature. And I guess, John, let's 180 here. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing around, guys. There's just so much to show. I'm so excited. This is such a neat place. Here, now, this is a utility area. I know I probably will not be able to tell you everything here, but I'll give you the best I can. I mentioned earlier that there's a geothermal heating system here, well, heating and cooling, with five wells. They go down vertical. So if you don't know about geothermals, you can Google it. Basically, it takes the heat out of the, uh, the ground in the winter, and it takes the cool out of the ground in the summer to help you heat and cool. Lowest utility bills you ever get. Over here, um, this uh, if there's either iron in the water or whatever, this is clears that up and takes care of everything then these are for the 
the two different well pumps and they have alarms if there, anything would ever happen. Over here, same thing with the septic system. You've got an alarm system there. Uh, if your septic system would back up or stop functioning, the alarms would go off to let you know. Of course, here's part of it, because it's like you constantly have hot water here for your domestic. Huge electrical system. I don't even know the amp service here. It's probably like 25,000 amps. Okay, it's really not that high. We'd have to ask the electrician. I just know the owner told us there's like eight miles of electric wire in this house. Eight miles. That's just absolutely. Wasn't there a movie or a rap song? Eight miles, something like that. So I remember it right, John? I'm getting old then, but am I remember right? I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, um, but eight miles of that. Now, this is where, remember what I was telling them earlier, John, that you could heat that driveway? This is where that was disconnected, but all you would do is connect them in there. Not me, but like a plumber knows what they're doing, and you could have a heated driveway again. That's it. It was just disconnected, and you could redo that. We're actually underneath the front porch here, John. That's where we're actually standing at. So they, again, maximized all the space in this property. So there you go, that's the utility room. I'm sorry, for something I forgot to tell you, there's a camera system here too that you can tie in to see if there's any wildlife around your house or see Bigfoot going through the yard. All right, so John, whoo -wee. there's just a lot of rooms here. Now, John, show them this room over here. This actually, they use as a workout room office, but I suppose if somebody wanted to, this could be another guest sleeping area too. Um, but you can see how they use it. Now this is where the elevator, no, oh, that won't open because the elevator's open on the first floor. So this is the elevator to the lower level. So every level of the house has a spot for the, for the elevator. And then this here is a nice room. This has to do with you have, uh, with your generator for backup and stuff. And there's another one of those sub pits. I don't know if I've been showing you everyone, but the, this nice room for, for that neat and orderly. And then, John, you ready to show them your favorite room? Yep. All right, lead the way. Oh, one other thing. It's not real exciting, but it is exciting to people that are into this stuff. Here's another sub pit. More for your pumps. Uh, this is part of the heating and cooling here. I think this might be partly with the gas, because you have geothermal with gas backup. So somehow that all works together. And there you get another little view of the superior walls where they're kind of sticking out there. All right, John, I'm gonna let you have the honor of showing them your favorite room. If I ever can't find you, I'm just gonna to come to here, tie it out and trail, and you'll be in here. Oh, what do you think of this, guys? A movie theater on top of the mountain. Everybody in the mountain will be your best friend so they can come over and watch movies with you on a Friday or Saturday night. How about this, John? Isn't this neat? And uh, actually has the little, I don't know if I can turn it on or not, John. Now I can't figure out which switch it is. Oh, there it is, John, look at that. Has the lights on the steps, just like a real movie theater then. Pretty neat, huh? And of course, the pull down screen, there's some storage over there. Whew, well, guys, it, I've been doing real estate for 34 years. Don, what have you been doing for 10 years? You ever seen a house like this? No, me neither. So we got 40 some years of experience between us and this is just a mind blowing house. If you have any questions on it, maybe you have a house that you got to sell. Financing can be a little different, what they call jumbo loans, but any real estate related questions you have, eh, even if you don't have a real estate related question, call John and I, we'd be glad to talk to you and stuff. As you can tell, I'm more of the talker than what John is, but if you want a short conversation, call John. Longer conversation, call me. Our telephone numbers will be somewhere at the top and bottom of the screen, but we really have had a good time showing you this house. I hope you enjoyed the video tour too. Do you have any questions? Anything else, John, that we forgot to tell them? I don't think so. I don't no, think so. I, this is such a much house. We probably forgot something, but my apologies. Any questions you have, though, get a hold of us then. Just have a good day. Bye-bye.